This is called stoneware clay? Stoneware, yeah. Stoneware, look at that. You wanna take it out? All the way? Oh, it doesn't matter, just open it up. Okay. Yours can get little bits off each time. Take a little piece out, there you go. Rip it on out of there, all right. All right, so, let me kind of feel it for a second. Do you know where, where clay really comes from, though, besides once more? Where? C-O-I-L. Good job. Excellent. I like making one. I made a bowl out of it. You made a bowl? To, um, to make everything hard, to make it last forever. Well, right, just tap it on one side and then flip it over. Then put your thumbs right in the middle, make a little hole in there, and then slowly go around and pinch this out into a nice even shape. And you can put it on the table if you want so it has sort of a flat bottom. And just try to make those walls as even and neat as you can. get them to seal together. Then you're going to keep pulling coils. And then you're going to add it on to the end of this coil. And you want it to look like the coil never ends. So you want it to look like it's coil. It keeps going and going and going. And keep going. Add some more slope. All right, so we found a local private pottery uh, studio here in our town and we decided that as a family we've never done pottery before that we could go and check it out. So come look at this because this is crazy like we're in like this little barn but it's really awesome. It's full of wills and pottery clay and if you look behind you all kind of pottery um, bowls and little figures uh, that you know people from our local town have actually made. So um, we signed up for like over a month's worth of private sessions and we got our own clay log here that we're going to continue to use until um, we create a lot of stuff. So this is our first little piece of clay that we're making. I think we're making cups, but he's teaching us not only where pottery originated, but what they used it for. So uh, yeah, look around your town and see what kind of cool stuff you can do with your family because this is awesome and we've just got started. It's crazy how relaxing my cup's all done. Alright, check it out y'all. So far we've learned different ways to make cups from just using the, uh, oh don't tell me, don't tell me, the pinch. Coil method. No, no, the pinch. Pinch pot. Pinch pot method, the coil method. Show them yours, Summer. Check this one out. This one's the biggest cup. Show them the inside. Lord. It's from my grandma. And it is super, super heavy. Well, this one's not for my grandma. This one, don't you mess up my, my cup. This is for my makeup vanity where I will store my makeup brushes. This here is for my, my whiskey. You don't, you don't even drink whiskey. <laughs> All right, cheers, y'all. Cheers with our undried cups. Cheers. Day one of our pottery uh, session. And by the end of all of our sessions, we are going to be a master. What is it? Pottery is? Master potter. Or um, potter. Potterette. A master potter. And uh, I will sell some of my artwork, uh, possibly on my shelf. 
so you guys keep an eye out. So we made our cups, we learned a couple things, but now apparently our instructor thinks that we are ready to make this. I don't know if you guys can tell, that is a hollow fish. And um, he showed us how to make the body, that's step one. And we're gonna try to do that first to see if we can make that. Are y'all ready? Ready. All right, here comes time for the body. If we can get past that, then he'll teach us the rest, but he won't until we uh, learn how to make the base of it. All right, so we finished the first step of this fish, which is a sphere. It's actually hollow. Um, there's mine. There's Summer's. She's already jumped ahead. And there is Bonza's. He's not quite done. A little behind. You need some help, babe? No. <laughs> Mine's just going to be perfect. Oh. <laughs> Almost to the next step. Oh, there's her lady, bud. Check it out. Pick it up and show it. She just learned that, waiting on us to finish our fish bodies. All this work and I put a hole in it and then just move it out, right? Yeah, and then you can put your fingers in and work it just to shape it the way you want. Aww. It's my little fish's mouth. Thanks, Summer. This is so cool.